Welcome back to Update Day in Old School, and for this week's update, we have the PvP Arena soft launch. Basically, just a pre launch for the PvP Arena, which is the dual arena replacement. First things first, I do want to note that no matter what, any rank or reward points you earn from now until next week's full launch will be completely wiped, so you will lose all of that progress, so do not start grinding this game out just yet. But in this video, I'm kind of going to give you everything you need to know surrounding the basics of the PvP arena and how it's going to work. And to kick things off, we have setting up. You'll be able to find opponents and set up matches in the same place you did in the duel arena. You'll also notice a couple of new NPCs will have a few different talking options. One of these NPCs will be the 1v1 tournament guide who will be able to tell you everything you want to know about any of the 1v1 tournaments. And then there will also be a duel guide who will help you if you want to fancy a one-off fight. For the grouping system, to set up a fight, you'll need to check out the notice boards, which will be these two boards right around here. And looking at them now, they look pretty self-explanatory. The one on the left looks like the 1v1 tournament board, whereas the one on the right looks like the one-off specific player fight board. But using these boards, you can find a match or even host your own tournaments. And another thing to note, if you are on a dedicated PvP arena world and know the name of one of the players fighting, you can't actually watch their fight from a spectator point of view. But one big thing about the PvP arena is the ranking system and it's going to place you up against players of equal strength. And a big aspect of that will be using alternate save games. Meaning that you can go about and do anything you want in the regular game while you're waiting for your match to be prepared. And once it is ready, you'll receive a notification that it's time to fight, so you'll be prompted to swap to the alternate save game world, giving you enough time to get to a safe place before hopping worlds. But this essentially means you don't have to just sit around and wait in the arena until your fight's ready to go. And the PvP arena is actually going to be a little special to get to in terms of the grouping system. It's going to have its own little section in the top right of the grouping panel, so you won't have to scroll through all of the different mini games. And you'll actually be able to register for a 1v1 tournament or a 1v1 battle using just this panel. So you don't actually have to go to the specific arena. Now here are three of the builds that are going to be used in the PvP arena. And these are the max slash med levels, Zerkers, and one defense pures. And the specific account used in the 1v1 tournaments will rotate and change weekly. Additionally, you are able to change and customize the items that people can use in your 1v1 tournament. And they said currently there are over 400 items to choose from. You'll also be able to use the following bits of equipment that are only available in the arena. Some things like the Korov's headgear, the Kalami armor, just a few different pieces of headgear armor, and some wrist wraps. Now there are two different types of points you can earn throughout these fights. And one of them are rank points and the other are reward points. Rank points are basically self-explanatory. They're used to determine your rank. When finding a fight, the PvP Arena system will try to match you against another player with a similar ranked and similar skill level. But in comparison, the reward points are what you're going to be able to use to purchase unique items from the reward shop. If you do happen to lose a match, you'll lose some of your rank points. And the rank system works kind of similar to that of the Birth Orb Games Room, where your loss slash gain depends on your opponent's rank. Beating a higher ranked player will reward you with more points. And you'll also get a bonus for consecutive wins. And the idea behind this was that more skilled players will be able to gain rank faster and they can start fighting opponents their own size much quicker post-launch. But a big thing right here is this bottom line right before the picture. Do note that you will not receive rank or reward when participating in manually organized events. So this is a big one, meaning whenever you set up your own stuff or you do have a one-off fight, you will not gain rank or reward points if you do happen to win it. The 1v1 tournaments will work very similar to that of like a dead man finals. Tournaments can consist of anywhere between 4 to 64 players and each round is split until there are only two participants left. And the counter to the massive 1v1 tournaments you'll also just be able to have ranked 1v1s. And these are one off battles that will automatically put you against a opponent of similar rank. But just like tournaments the winner of this 1v1 will receive rank and reward points. And now for rewards, we'll touch on the rewards a little bit next week when the full launch does occur. But one big thing I do want to note this week before we end off this video is that you will be able to have access to the reward shop during this soft launch, but you are not able to purchase anything from the store. So all of the reward points you do earn this week will be completely wiped before the full launch next week. Really, they just want to add the arena into the game a week early to make sure that everything runs smoothly prior to the massive launch. 
So feel free to test out some grouping, some of the available loadouts, battle in the arena a little bit, just test things out to see how it feels. But do not hyper focus on your rank or rewards because they will completely be reset prior to next week's update. But with that, that's everything for this week's update. If you guys did enjoy the video or found it helpful, consider dropping a like down below. And I'll catch you guys next week with the full launch of the PvP arena.